A man's masculinity is not measured by his hobbies or demeanor necessarily, but by the strength of his character. Do video games make me less manly? Uh, yeah. If you play My Little Pony, My Friendship is Magic, which I have in my phone right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm a gamer. And I think that's safe to say that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So for some of you watching, you might be thinking that gamers are guys who are lazy, unproductive, unsociable, nerdy, and generally have an unkempt and disheveled appearance. And you know what? Fair. Well, sort of, kind of. Well, here's the deal. These are actually kind of stereotypes. Now, they don't come from nowhere, but they are just stereotypes. And it isn't a fair assessment to assume that a man who enjoys video games is less masculine because he resembles one or more of said stereotypes. And if we focus too much on these stereotypes, then we can easily lose sight of the reality that a man's masculinity is not measured by his hobbies or demeanor necessarily, but by the strength of his character. Now I can think of one man in particular who embodies this reality really well. Blessed Carlo Acutis. If you don't know who he is, Blessed Carlo, who in 2006, died at the age of 15, he was a normal, good-looking kid with lots of friends. But before he died though, Carlo was passionate about his faith and loved, you guessed it, dirt biking. I'm just kidding, loved video games. Blessed Carlo stands out to me as someone who can love video games and be truly masculine for this very reason he learned self-control. It was known that he would limit himself to playing for an hour a week. I read that he said this, what's the use of winning 1,000 battles if you can't beat your own passions? He learned to master himself to the point where when he had saved the money to buy another game, he saw a homeless man and used that money to buy him a sleeping bag. He was committed to doing the right thing and taking responsibility over his life, and he was a gamer. Let's say Carlo shows me that gaming in and of itself doesn't make me or any gamer less masculine. I followed his example by first being honest with myself about how video games can affect me and I just resolved honestly to play for 30 minutes a day at the most. And I know that majority of gamers are male and video games can easily consume your life which makes sense because video games do a great job at tapping into the psychology of men. Men tend to be drawn to adventure, overcoming challenges, competition, and doing larger than life things. Now, these aren't just found in video games. These can be found in a ton of different forms of media like movies or books or whatever you might be into. I don't know, but I found that if ordered properly through self-control, video games, like anything else, have the capacity to be a reminder that my greatest adventures are not just in a screen or in a game, but they're all around me. Yo, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe. Head to theculture project.org to check out more content from us.